Hello everyone. Today I am going to be moving on from orthographic projections and giving you some tips on how to create an isometric projection. Now the difference in these two drawings is that an orthographic projection is an image where you take each face, front, top, and right side, and you lay them flat on the page. So you're seeing the three-dimensional object in a 2D view. What we're going to try and simulate with an isometric drawing or projection is seeing all views at the same time. And by all, I mean your front, your top, and your right side. So it kind of gives you a three-dimensional look at the object. So essentially, this is what we're going to end up with. But there are some guidelines we need to use to get ourselves started. So let's jump right in. So the first thing I would like you to do is draw a nice light guideline along the bottom of your page, parallel to the bottom of your page. Then I would like you to draw another nice light guideline perpendicular to that, somewhere in the center. Now again, you don't need to measure this, just draw it somewhere on your page so you can see it again nice and light. And then the third thing I want you to do is draw two angled lines. And these two angle lines should be approximately 30 degrees, but I don't need you to measure these at all. So I'm just gonna draw from there out and do the same on the other side. Now these lines don't even need to be the same angle as long as they're somewhere on the page. And I'll explain why those rules are the way they are in just a second. So there you have a simple guide to get started with an isometric drawing. So if I hold up my image again, you're going to see some similarities. So our horizontal guideline is the bottom line that you see where my pencil is. My vertical line is this front edge between the front and right side view. And then my right angled guideline is this angle, and my left angled guideline is this angle. Now the reason why these do not need to be the same or even measured is because if I change the view of this object, you'll notice the angle right here between the pencil and the object is changing. And it can change left and right, up and down. Oh, my cat wants to get involved here. Come on, Benny. There we go. So there's really no incorrect way to draw this. You see those angles changing all the time. The one angle we do want to keep is this one though, this straight up and down front edge. So having said that, let's get started. So now we're gonna use different line types. So I'm gonna first off dictate how tall the object is. And I decide it's going to be that tall and I'm going to make it that wide. And the depth is less than the width, but pretty similar to the height, so I'll use that for my depth. So this is the width of my front view, this is the height of my front view, and this is the depth of the object from front to back. All right, so at that point in time now, what I'm going to do is simply reproduce lines that I already have. So I have a line here that's vertical. I'm gonna draw another line right here that's vertical. And I'm gonna keep it as a guideline for now. I have a line here showing me the width of the object. So I'm gonna place my ruler on that line and then slide that straight up because I wanna try and keep that angle exactly the same. And then I can fill this in now because I see where the top of the object actually is. So there I have my front view. I'm gonna follow that same process. This angle right here, I like to do it this way. So there's the angle. I keep my ruler on that same angle and I stop when I hit that corner. A light guideline, straight up and down, straight up and down, straight up and down. Now I can fill this one in because I see the start and end points of it. And then my last step is to create the top. So for the top, I will again keep my ruler on that angle right there. I'll go with a light guideline to start and I put my ruler on that angle right there. And notice that this angle is the same as this angle is the same as this angle. And this angle is the same as this one is the same as that one. And there we have an isometric drawing. You've got your front view, you've got your top view, and you have your right side view. 
If you do a good job of drawing your guidelines, you don't need to erase them. If you think they're a little bit dark, you can go ahead and lighten them up by erasing a little bit. And I'm going to now create my title block. So this is isometric number one. And this is done by Mr. Kempton. And today is June 7th, wow. There we go, perfect isometric cube, object number one. I'll follow this up with three more videos, giving you quick tips and uh, demonstrations on how to do objects number two, three, and four.